Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Today, coming from the dark side of the moon, guys, I have an awesome video. Almost as awesome as this beautiful flower I found just in my garden. Where did it come from? Gone. But this video, please watch this one till the end i say this every day but today is a special day with some charts that are going to show you the short term the long term my opinion it will take a little bit longer maybe than normal but please watch the complete video as you need to understand what i'm showing you today now let's quickly jump into it because else it's going to be a very long video um yeah here we go one two three bam Short term, this is for the people that are trading. Short term means you're trading, you're stressing out on the four hour chart, 15 minute chart, all those charts. In the short term, there is reason to stress out, freak out, however you wanna call it. Because if you look at this pattern, that's not a bullish pattern, but that's a bearish pattern. That is a pattern um, that we come down into this like falling wedge, bearish flag, uh, bear flag, uh, that mostly comes up and continues down. Where to? I believe if we go down somewhere to 45,000 US dollar. We don't even need to touch it one more time. We can even go from here to 45,000 US dollar. If we go down, yes, we could also make it, um, for example, a W pattern, and then we could break out to there. All possible? But at the moment, these patterns normally show us we continue downwards. Bitcoin is Bitcoin, can do whatever it wants. So let's see today where this will play out. For our candle, this one is going to close in two and a half hour. Uh, the new candle, let's see what that one is going to do. Okay, now let's go and zoom out a little bit before we zoom in again. Bam, here, the weekly. Because the weekly at the moment for me is very important. Again, I said it yesterday as well. We have on the bottom. The yellow circles here that is the support on that trend line that's coming up you see we are keeping support at that trend line there this point there that point here again now we are going downwards to that point again so probably finding support at that level of 43 44 in the top we can also see that you know we broke out of this pattern normally you retest it that is what we are doing now. The retest level is at 46, 47,000 US dollars. The same target as the four hour chart. If we retest, like I said yesterday, and go up, what we normally do is break that one and then go up like that, that would be very positive. If we break this level, we could touch again a little bit lower, but lower. But again, that is not, in my opinion, this is a weekly chart. I am still bullish. I am still in high higher high higher high low uh, yeah, even this is a higher low and that is again a higher low so you know that is what i am in in this pattern okay let's clean that up a little bit and the thing that i want to show you on the weekly chart as well is very important is the bam bam indicator because is that one working on the weekly chart as well now let's have a see bam there we are look i can't say and show it more perfectly than with this chart how the bam bam indicator is working for the people that are spot trading buying and selling the bam bam indicator does work you would have bought here at the level of 11,225 you would have sold here at the level of 49,000 US dollar that's like 50k profit you would have bought here again on the 12th of July on the 28, 20. Now let's say over here this level, sorry, 32,000 32, US dollar, maybe 33. And you would have sold here again on that 63,000 US dollar level. That would be a 30K wins. 50K profit, 50K profit, and a 30K profit my dd writing is not your talent let's see how far this short will fall we will see this is just showing you how the bam bam works on the weekly and yes if you want to see the percentages you would have had 
360% over there and you would have had around 85% over there just to show now let's jump into this one then because there are some people that want to trade to 15 minutes yes 15 minutes same short over there you can go through it one more time red dot bluish and yellow area red line on top candle closing down bluish yellow stepping line bam bam crossing like quadrupled confirmation of taking the short that short in the short term would have given you 2.9 percent without leverage with leverage way more now <clears throat> if you want to sign up to the bam bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com on the products you will find all the indicator packages if you want to support the community a little bit more then please use the referral links buy bit three thousand five hundred dollar bonus up to three thousand five hundred dollar depending on how much you deposit Femex makes sixteen hundred dollar prime XBT a seven hundred fifty dollar bonus bonus or a 25 percent discount at the moment all of these links if you sign up you can get a bonus they are up to bonuses not only always three thousand five hundred up to three thousand be aware of that now now we are going to go into the next part of the uh, video that you really need to watch please keep on hanging in there i know we already are ooh, six minutes four more minutes guys okay let's talk about this one fidelity is predicting a bitcoin price of 100 million by 2035 be aware, article was already launched in August. Not only Fidelity is predicting this. Huge, huge investment companies like Fidelity is, are, invest, are, are announcing this as well. Banks, funds, all of them tell us. Fidelity is one of the biggest ones out there. They don't bring out a report like, oh, let's uh, say 100K, uh, 100 million or 200 million. No, they do their own research and with a huge amount of people and then at the end um, they will say okay this is what we really believe and that what they really believe is what they will bring out in the report and that report came out now this is very important to understand i will show you why they believe in this in the later stage of the video okay but let's jump into this one over now because it's not only fidelity 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 i don't even know now, on the Wubel side, on Willy Who, you can find all ETFs and all corporates in total how much they already have invested in Bitcoin. On the right side, you will see Grayscale, Huge Fund, Purpose, 3IQ, all corporates in total, MicroStrategy, Tesla, Galaxy, Square, Marathon, Argo, Exodus, Coinbase, Hunt8, Riot Blockchain, Bitfarm. This list will go on and go on and will become longer and longer and longer. More companies are going to add Bitcoin to their company's reserve, reserves or exchange their current reserves for Bitcoin because they are start to believe that Bitcoin is a better store of value to protect the company's capital than for example gold. And why do they think that? Think that did your English? Bam, because of this. If you look at gold over the last 12 and a half years, if you would have invested $1 in gold 12.2 years ago, you would now have $1.71. If you would have invested $1 in Bitcoin 12.2 years ago, you would now have $64 million. And that is what this chart on the below here is showing you. That dotted line here, that is the $1 invested in gold line, that stayed flat. The yellow line, the orange Bitcoin line, I need to say, that one is if you would have invested $1 in Bitcoin. That is going up. And that purple dollar line is how much Bitcoin you need to buy one ounce of gold. That one is going down. So by being in Bitcoin, buying gold becomes cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Not only gold, but many other assets as well. Everything in life became cheaper for me. I am not... Um, crying because of inflation for me the inflation is not there for me everything gets cheaper every day guys now hope these charts were very clear now we are going to jump into the next part two charts two more really cool here we go bam this is the first one <clears throat> because those companies they think that bitcoin could go higher and higher and higher and how much higher 
they calculate by using the stock to flow model because this is the same model they also used for gold and if you look at the gold pattern of the 70s we would be going way higher than we are at the moment this would just be a small dip and that is what this image is telling you if we would keep cal calculating the stock to flow model just like we calculated gold from the 70s till now then this would the, be the path that bitcoin will be following in the next um, like 14 years that is how the path of gold went in those 14 years and that would be the stock to flow model and that would mean yes it would increase lesser and lesser 1.1 percent only 0.8 percent only 0.4 percent only 0.2 percent but at the end that would be near that price of 100 million dollar per bitcoin over here it is 10 million dollar per bitcoin and over here it's a million dollar per bitcoin and the million dollar per bitcoin is this area over here which could be there 2025 to 27 and that 100k area we all think it would be now but it could also be in this area here 23 24 to come above it and below it if we would have more extended bull markets that is just what i want to show you and then people will say yeah but we need too much volume to get in these high numbers and market caps of bitcoin yes we need high volume but the high volume bam is over here this is where all the volume is in the world this is a lot of volume bitcoin is tiny it's nothing it's tiny it's a one trillion dollar market cap gold has a 12 trillion dollar market cap here commercial real estate 33 trillion agricultural land 35 trillion equities 100 trillion the top fiat currency is 122 trillion the debt security is 123 and then we don't even talk about i think real estate is 80 and then we have this residential real estate the house and all that stuff 258 trillion all of these trillions can flow partly into bitcoin and if all of these trillions just a small part flows into bitcoin we will reach way more higher market caps and why will people be doing this and companies and investment funds and all of that because they see the growth in bitcoin they see the store of value they see the way they can um, multiply their capital instead of just keeping the store of value but it will multiply as well in the next couple of years so that is why big companies are stepping in now i hope you really enjoyed this information if you enjoyed the video and all the things that i showed you the short term charts the long term charts and the bigger perspective of the next 10 years then please give the video 10 10 thumbs up give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts what do you think about the bigger picture in bitcoin and what do you think about freaking out on that minute because in my opinion you need to zoom out in bitcoin you need to zoom in at life you need to try and enjoy every single minute of the day instead of freaking out about every single minute on the charts that was everything for today i'm going to leave you with this beautiful flower that i'm going to bring to my wife maybe i get cheeky cheeky in the morning <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow again bam